two years ago, I saw a video clip. On YouTube? I saw thousands of people standing in front of the Western Wall in Jerusalem, and they prayed. They prayed. Now, I'm, I'm not a religious person, but this prayer, I got really inspired. And I asked myself if if that prayer can, can be a social prayer. A mass singing project. Bring people together from different faiths, races, and cultures via singing. A good idea, it's not enough. You need the right and the good people. One, I need a genius conductor. Ooh, and now you're with me. Ooh. <laughs> and the person really connected to the social media. We started getting all kind of approaches from all over the world. And can get the word out the way that it can touch everyone. Someone who could help us make this dream a reality. Thank you. When you sing, you give your voice. When you give your voice, you give the whole history of your voice, you know, if your voice is more airy or your voice is more strong or low or high. They come sometimes skeptics in a bit distance. And from moment to moment, I can see how the, the walls around their, their hearts melt. I, I'm looking for the moment when someone change. I saw in my own eyes religious Jewish people singing in Arabic. I saw Arab people singing in Hebrew. We don't have to be friends. You don't have to share my beliefs. I just want that you know me and I will know you. I really believe that if people will know each other, we're really going to, to, to enjoy this planet much more. We can make this harmony together and sometimes you're going to lead and sometimes I don't know. And when we understand this, you think about your life and about society differently. When people ask me what we try to do in Kululam, what, you try to change the world. We say no, we're not. We just try to inspire the world. Inspiration creates a movement. And a movement creates life. <laughs>